Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Famous pirate raid, right? A little messy for my tastes, but those guys were in and out like pros. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Right, the access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is, if this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain, all that blood is on their hands. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now, especially if this ends up being a dead end. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're... You know, preparing for war. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, they'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the Taros. that. Welcome back. 
You find anything out there? Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. Watch it. That's our leader you're talking about. My friend. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Go take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Does it matter? Job's done. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please, but it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose... Oh. Oh, apologies. You meant... Right. Yes, I braved the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Ugh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No, 
I am not mocking you. Much. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. I'm starting to see why you don't get much company out here. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. He told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram, Hiram, are you there? Not without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Ah, I see you learn nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot.
their mistake. Here they come!
our captain is a total fucking hullhead. I told him again and again that without fixing our regulator and setting up the engines, they're going to blow through our coils and we'll go flying off in a completely direction. Well, here we are. What are you buying? What are you buying? Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. The pipes up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut them off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. I ought to tell you, most of these systems are routed through one of our terminals. You might be able to handle some of them remotely if you know your way around a computer. We sent Milton out to check on the comms tower a while ago. Ain't heard back. I'd wager he got eight. Up the hill. It's right on the cliff's edge.
Watch your step on Monarch. It's not just the monsters and sulfur pits you gotta look out for. I admire your grit, but some wounds don't heal. And I say that as someone who's plugged a few severed aortas. Ginger Chops and the Pencil Pusher. By all accounts, Sanjar and Graham have been at each other's throats for years. Digging into their personal history isn't gonna change anything. Well, they've kept it going this long, haven't they? And anyway, we've got problems of our own. I try to save my captain a headache when I can. Usually ends up saving me one too. Hey, I'm the doctor here. That means I'm supposed to be the one nosing into your business. Anyway, I can take a hint. You stay out of mine, and I'll stay out of yours. Anything else? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky, purple berry shake if you're not. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Sure do. Some of it was even legal. What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Gotta figure out how to work that into my aesthetic. Maybe a pair of earrings? I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Not at all. I chose this life to make bits, not waves. Though if I can offer another perspective, piracy's just trade the corporations don't have a hand in. Well, they're the ones who set the rules, so I guess you can't blame them for stacking the deck in their favor. But the rest of us have to get by somehow. Don't go getting the wrong idea. I don't have principles, I just don't like being told how to live my life. Let's move on to something lighter. All this talk of politics makes me tired and thirsty. Well, my blood type is AB positive, I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Aw, oh, come on, that stuff's boring. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've gotta give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. No complaints here. What are you buying? I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no, it ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts.
they're all mad. And what's more, they left us. I don't see any way for us to work together. Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantapillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. I hadn't thought of it that way. Perhaps you have a point. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. One can't be haphazard about these things. Besides, if you think her skills will complement mine, then we should see what those skills are. Excellent. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. I can take a hint. Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. I... I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms.
Captain, we should chat. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. Stand down? I'm afraid I don't understand, Captain. You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops? Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. I escaped the corruption of the endless cycle of corporate greed. Yes, I ran from that. But now I'm ready to face it once more. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. That's how we fucking do it. Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts. It never feels right. But this time, it's... especially wrong. You've got the... Floyd held me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? I've thought about it, but... I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Well then. I've got to prepare a few just-in-case measures. But when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay. Hey, thanks for coming. 
I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. I get the feeling this is gonna take a while. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. I suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. If you two can work together, maybe there's some hope for this place after all. Truly a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something. But you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. That means... I had no idea, I swear! Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that! I buy it. Sanjar ain't capable of hurting a sprat, even from a distance. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. I... Okay. Okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. You know, there was something magnetic about him that let you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sanja. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Gotta be honest, Captain. Never thought I'd see the day. You've done a good thing for Monarch here. Can we talk? I bet you'll like Rebecca. What's up? Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. Sure, and fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. Well, who hasn't been there? Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Hey, let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? 